Nature is a force of beauty, wonder, and mystery. It has the power to create life and also to take it away. We hear some pretty crazy stories about nature, but when there's a camera present, we can see what Mother Nature is really capable of. Facts First presents Look Closer – Unedited Photos Captured in Nature, and they will shock you. First, though, click that like button and also subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. This photo was taken by Jean Guichard in 1989. The lighthouse was located on the northwest coast of France, near Brittany. The lighthouse is called the Ferris Dons La Tempête La Jumente, which translates to Lighthouse in a Storm. How ironic, huh? The man in the photo is the lighthouse keeper Theodore Malgorn. He was standing on the deck of the lighthouse waiting to be rescued. The others inside the lighthouse were trying to stay out of harm's way. The waves looked like they could have destroyed the lighthouse, but believe it or not, it only suffered minimal damage. A woman was camping 30 years ago, and she heard something outside of her tent. She stuck her camera out and took this photo. According to Wikipedia, raccoons will often keep to themselves, but this photo proves the theory wrong. When camping, it's essential to keep your food hidden. Raccoons are incredibly dexterous, which means they can open coolers and boxes, and the woman who took this photo probably did not secure her food, so that meant she had nothing to eat in the morning. This photo was taken in 1989. The girl in the picture is Audra Thomas, and she lives in Beaver Creek, Nebraska. Being from Nebraska, she probably isn't a stranger to tornadoes. The funnel cloud in the back is an F1 tornado, and it's heading toward her family farm, which you can see in the background. Fortunately, the tornado didn't take the house, but it did destroy the barn. It was her mother who took the photo. This truckload of pigs was being sent to the market for slaughter. This pig took advantage of the overfilled truck and tried to jump to safety. It's a pretty high fall, and there's no word as to how that fall turned out, but his escape could have caused mayhem on the highway. This picture is incredible, but unfortunately, it's a fake. It was a political ad created when Teddy was running for president under the Progressive Party, whose mascot happened to be a moose. The photo was created by the photography firm Underwood & Underwood. They carefully cut a photograph of Roosevelt riding a horse and put it on a moose. The picture appeared in the September 8, 1912 edition of the New York Tribune. Seeing as this was done before the days of Photoshop, not bad. If you have a fear of spiders, you might want to turn your head away from the screen for just a moment. Most spiders wrap their eggs in an egg sack and then they leave their young to fend for themselves. The wolf spider is different. They are the only species of spider who carry their eggs around fastened to the abdomen in a silky bundle. It takes between 9 and 27 days for the eggs to hatch, depending on the weather. The baby spiders who hatch will cling to their mother's back until they're old enough to hunt for food. Sailors have been reporting seeing mermaids for hundreds of years. Some are sure that they saw a mermaid, but this photo proves they may have just been seeing a beluga whale. Beluga whales have white-colored dorsal fins, and the way the fin is formed looks like a human knee. So there's actually a pretty good chance that the sailors were seeing beluga whales, not actual mermaids. Fortunately, this is just a sculpture. Had this been real, it would have been incredibly dangerous. This octopus has thick tentacles that wrap around you before you even see it coming. This angry octopus versus scuba diver sculpture gives you an idea of how dangerous these sea creatures can really be. This clumsy baby elephant fell into a manhole. While elephants take their time to grow into maturity, it's often 15, maybe even 20 years before they become adults. Also, elephants have the longest pregnancy of all mammals. The mothers carry their young for a year and a half before giving birth. Don't worry about the baby elephant in this picture. He was rescued and returned to his mom. This is a photo of a 28-foot crocodile that was shot and killed in Queensland in 1957 by a crocodile hunter, Christina Palowski. She was a Polish immigrant who moved to Australia. And while she was there, she earned quite the reputation of being a great croc hunter. When she shot and killed this massive crocodile, she earned herself the nickname One Shot. Due to the size of the crocodile, she received worldwide attention. Crocs this size are uncommon in Queensland. Her kill even landed Christina in the Guinness Book of World Records. Bear attacks on humans are rare. People in the backwoods of Alaska are more likely to die from a bee sting or a snake bite than being mauled by a bear. Not that that makes the idea of it any more pleasant. The man riding this bike, though, might disagree about the whole bears attacking people thing because he's being chased by a bear. Fortunately, he's on his bike. He might be able to outrun it. In Sylvester Stallone's 1976 film Rocky, his character's girlfriend, Adrian, buys him two tiny turtles from the pet store where she worked. When the movie wrapped up, Stallone was allowed to keep those turtles. Their names are Cuff and Link, 
and today they are still alive and celebrating their 44th birthday. There was a lot of buzz about the turtles possibly making a cameo in Creed 2. Sadly, the bull mastiff that also appeared in Rocky died in 1981. Judging by this photo, you got to be thankful that the Megalodon is extinct. If there was something this large swimming in the water, would you ever swim or boat in the ocean? Ever? These creatures were known to be killing machines. They could grow to be 60 feet in length and had a bite force of over 40,000 pounds. They died out a long time ago, as far as we know. Scientists estimate their extinction occurred at the end of the Pliocene era. It's not the goats in Morocco that are special, it's the trees. The Arania tree has a nutty taste that goats just can't get enough of. Goats will climb to the top of the trees to pick delicious nuts. Fortunately, goats have good balance. If they didn't, this picture would look a whole lot different. Micho Hoshino was an award-winning nature photographer who specialized in photographing Alaskan wildlife. The last photo he ever took was not in Alaska. It was taken at Russia's Kurlshoya Lake in 1996. When this brown bear entered his tent, it killed him. He managed to capture this photo before he died. By the way, what I just said is not a true story. It's an urban legend. Michio Hoshino really is a wildlife photographer who was really mauled by a bear, but this picture wasn't taken by him. It's an entry from a Worth 1000 Photoshop competition. No photos of Michio's attack here. Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD and buried the Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum under layers and layers of rock and ash. Since then, it's only erupted a few times. The last significant eruption took place in March of 1944. It destroyed nearly four villages, and the bombers just managed to get away, but they did have a great view of the eruption. Dogs should know better than to mess with skunks, right? But no, they don't. This dog went out to eat and saw a skunk in his food dish. Rather than barking and snarling, he just politely waited his turn. <laughs> I'm guessing he already had a run-in with a skunk sometime in his past, so he knew that if he barked, he'd have to take a tomato juice bath, and he probably didn't want that. Hermit crabs don't come with their own shells like other sea creatures. They scavenge things from the ocean to make a home for themselves. Each time they grow out of a shell, they need to find a new larger one. This hermit crab found a human skull to call his home. Nobody knows who the skull belonged to, and most likely it will just be a temporary home. Still, creepy. Subscribe for more!